Welcome to the next 100 seconds. It's Monday, the 30th of March, 2020. Okay, so now we're at a point where pretty much everything's shut down here in Australia. We can't be more than two people together. Not quite everything is closed, but it's moving in that direction. And of course, that's happening throughout the world right now because we're trying to flatten the curve. That's very good, and it even seems to be working here in Australia. We're getting down to day-over-day -day increases of maybe less than 10%. We need to bring that down even more. But if we keep that up, we can keep a lid on things. But the question is, how long do we need to keep a lid on things? And the only way we can reasonably expect to release that lid and get back to our lives as normal is if we aggressively test. Now, in Australia, we can probably test very aggressively if we can build the testing infrastructure for it. And of course, I talked about that last week, and I'll be talking about that more further on in this week. But there's some other interesting approaches. And I had a bit of a brainwave last week. I thought, wait a minute, can we teach a dog to sniff the infection of someone who has COVID-19? In other words, can we let the dog do the sniff test rather than subjecting someone to a blood test that might take an hour or could take a day or could take several days. Could we teach a dog to do it? And I put that question out on Twitter and the answer came back is maybe, but we'll take some time. Well, it turns out that folks in the UK are now on it. They're working with the Infectious and Tropical Diseases Institute to see if they can teach dogs to detect the COVID-19 scent. Now, that doesn't mean these dogs will be out there doing it next week, but it does mean that maybe in six months, and in a year, before we have a vaccine, and when it's still important for us to know when people are infected, we may have a wonderful, friendly, easy way to test people for infection. And that's 100 Seconds.